So I got this idea from uh, GNOME 3. I heard they're going to remove some minimize and maximize button. You can actually do that in KDE also if you want to, you don't have to. Or you can, you know, arrange it whatever the way that you want it to. Anyways, let me show you here. Bust out your, what is that, system settings. And go to workspace appearance. And uh, under, what is that, Windows decorations. You have this configure button here. Now whether you want the Mac style or the GNOME 3 style or the traditional style, whatever you want to do, uh, you can do that. But first you have to check on this box where it says use custom uh, title bar buttons here. And basically if you want to remove something, you drag it down or you know put it back up, right, big deal. Uh, either left or right side doesn't really matter. And the KD part here is just the, the name of it, you know, that's all you got to do. Okay, so hit OK and then apply. Um, the reason I only have two is because that's really all I need. You know, minimize and close, right? Minimize here. Uh, for the maximize, the the reason why you don't really need it is you can double click on it and it's maximize, right? Now that's the default behavior. If it's not the default, you can actually go back here <coughs> and go to the Windows behavior. And in here, was it here? Windows behavior here. Uh, you go to title bar uh, actions, and you see where it says title bar. Double click, maximize here. That's the default. Otherwise, you can change it to minimize or whatever, but maximize is the default. Um, usually, I would use the middle click to minimize, but they don't really have the minimize option in here. In GNOME, they do, but in KDE, they don't. So I wish someone would add that in. But right now, minimize. I mean, a middle button is uh, for Windows tabbing. If you don't know what that is, I showed you that last time. Basically, you know, you drag the title to the other title, and you have Windows tabbing. But that's another story. Anyways, that's the default. That's why I only use uh, two buttons here. But that's it. If you want to switch your buttons around, like the Mac style, GNOME 3 style, traditional style, uh, it's up to you. Okay, that's it for this one. So I just hit apply and you're d pretty much done.